It's been determined that we have vole activity in our backyard farm or garden, and so we're going to decide to control these voles before they start eating too much of the vegetable material or the seed heads, or even causing some problems to the root material in our garden. We've decided to use a trapping method. For trapping voles, we usually use multi-catch traps. We have decided to use one type of multi-catch trap, the catch-all, for this operation. These will hold up to 15 voles at one time. They're metal trap, they're aluminum, they can be used outdoors, they're fairly safe for other animals, non-target animals, and they're safe for children as well. We don't have to bait them because lots of times the voles will just go right in, but we decided to put a little bit of bait around the entrance to entice our voles. For bait today, we're using a mixture of grass seed, bird seed, and rolled oats. So, let's go set our traps and let's see what the voles are doing out here today. Well, first what we're going to do, we're going to locate the runs or where the voles are active in this garden. If we look here, we can see there's a run going in the grass. We have to part the turf to find it. And that run has a hole in it as it enters our garden. Then we can follow that run up into the garden and into our plant material. Now in this area, there's a lot of seed heads for them to eat, and voles love grain. They're a granivore. When there's not a lot of grain, they go for the tubers. So there's probably some plants over that way, or right up there we have some iris that have tubers. And so all those are food for our vole that we want to get rid of. What we're going to do is we're going to find a place a little bit inconspicuous, and we're going to nestle our trap in that area close to the run. But before we nestle it, we have to wind it. We have to wind it four to six times to activate it. Not too tight. If it feels tight, someone else has already wound it. And then we're going to nestle it next to the run and place a little seed up near the entrance and throw a little seed into the entrance. They'll be nestled back. We want to do this later in the day. Hope, preferably, you know, after four or five o'clock in the evening and check it first thing tomorrow morning before the traps get hot and something can happen to the vole. So we always set late and then we're going to check it very early in the a.m. to make sure. When we check it, we bring it up. We can look right through the holes to see if something's in there and we can open it like that to find out if we caught any voles. Many times there'll be more than one in there so you have to catch, open these catch-alls or these traps very slowly. Remember, determine if it's a vole or something else. You can use the multi-catch traps to avoid using any toxicants and having some non-target poisoning. Once you get the voles in the trap, make sure you check it first thing in the morning and you can euthanize them in any legal way in your area. These traps are made out of aluminum with holes in it. They can be go into a bucket of water as described on the trap.